In the last lecture, we calculated stability factors for fixed bias configuration. In this lecture, we will obtain stability factors for emitter bias configuration. This is the emitter bias circuit and in step number one, in step number one, we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop to obtain the base current IB. From KVL, we have VCC minus IBRB minus VBE minus IE RE equal to zero and if you compare this equation with the equation obtained in fixed bias configuration there is difference of IE RE because we have emitter resistance in case of emitter bias configuration and we will use this equation to find out base current but first we will replace IE the emitter current IE with IC plus IB so we have VCC minus VCC minus IB RP minus VBE minus IC RE minus IB RE equal to zero I will take IB common from these two terms so we have VCC minus IB inside the bracket RB plus RE minus VBE minus IC RE equal to zero and finally we have base current IB equal to VCC minus VBE minus IC RE divided by RB plus RE let's say this is equation number one and this is all we need to do in step number one in step number two in step number two we will calculate the collector current by using this equation IC equal to beta IB plus beta plus one ICBO we have already calculated IB and once we replace this expression with IB we have IC equal to beta VCC minus VBE minus ICRE divided by resistance RB plus resistance RE plus beta plus 1 ICBO so we are done with step number 2 in step number 3 we have to differentiate this equation let's say this is equation number 2 so we have to differentiate the second equation with respect to IC keeping beta and VBE constant so in step number 3 we will differentiate this equation with respect to IC so on left hand side we have DIC by DIC beta is constant RB and RE both are constant so beta by RB plus RE is also constant so we do not require to differentiate them we only have to differentiate VCC VCC minus VBE minus ICRE with respect to IC the collector current beta plus 1 is constant so we have differentiation of ICBO with respect to collector current IC in the next step we will differentiate VCC with respect to IC VBE with respect to IC ICRE with respect to IC and the leakage current with respect to IC on the left hand side we have 1 beta divided by RB plus RE inside the bracket we have 0 because VCC is constant it is biasing voltage and it is constant and differentiation of constant term is equal to 0 minus VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts for silicon transistor so it is also constant so we have 0 minus RE is constant and differentiation of IC with respect to IC is equal to 1 so this is what we have inside the bracket plus beta plus 1 is constant differentiation of ICBO with respect to IC is equal is equal to 1 by S because S the stability factor is equal to small change in collector current with respect to the leakage current at constant beta and input voltage VBE so 1 by S 
is equal to di cbo by dic now we can easily simplify the obtained result to obtain the stability factor so beta plus 1 rb plus re divided by rb plus beta plus 1 re is the stability factor in case of ammeter bias configuration we can also calculate the stability factor by using the general expression s is equal to beta plus 1 divided by 1 minus beta differentiation of base current with respect to the collector current this is the general expression of the stability factor in this case in case of ammeter bias configuration the base current ib is having the collector current so the differentiation of base current with respect to the collector current is not equal to zero and when you differentiate ib with respect to ic you will have you will have minus re divided by rb plus re you can simply obtain this result when you differentiate the right hand side with respect to ic so we will put this value in the general form and we have beta plus 1 divided by 1 minus beta inside the bracket minus re divided by rb plus re when you simplify this you will have beta plus 1 beta plus 1 inside the bracket rb plus re as the numerator and in denominator you will have rb plus beta plus 1 re which is similar to this result obtained by the differentiation of second equation so you can use the general form to obtain the stability factor in case of any biasing scheme the next thing is calculation of s prime s prime is equal to small change in collector current with respect to the input voltage vbe at constant at constant beta and icbo i will not perform the differentiation because you can easily perform the differentiation by keeping beta and icbo constant just differentiate equation number 2 and in that equation you have to consider beta as constant and icbo as constant you will have s prime equal to minus beta divided by rb inside the bracket beta plus 1 re so this is the expression of s prime and calculation of s double prime is not important in this course s double prime is equal to small change in the collector current with respect to beta keeping icbo and vbe constant in this expression if we consider rb smaller than beta plus 1 re then we can neglect rb we can neglect rb so s is equal to beta plus 1 re divided by beta plus 1 re so s is nearly equal to 1 and you can see stability the stability is increased as compared to the fixed bias configuration because of introduction of the ammeter resistance re so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will calculate the stability factors for collector feedback biasing so see you in the next lecture